Welcome back. In the previous part, we had a monster around here that committed suicide rather than face me like any worthy adversary would. So now I'm back for revenge, and this time I am very, very prepared. Stupidly so. We'll see when we get into the battle anyway. Right, uh, let's battle this sad Bernard. Where is he then? But there he is. There he is. All right, so let us begin. Yeah, I'm level 19. Don't get ahead of yourselves. Go get ahead like, like, gang up to level 19. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm level 19. I um did a lot of leveling up, and um I also got the expansion pass, which means I got a lot of trust and stuff like that. So it's sort of like, yeah, yeah. I need to get my um. Ah, all right, good. So my aggro is down, which is good because now we can get here. Oh. Let's get the blue circles, that's what we're after. He's, he's still moving off. You're still moving off. You're even more scared this time, aren't you? Indeed. Let's get that going. Let's get in these timings right. That's what I've learned in between the parts. Very much want to get these timings right. Just watching everything. Go there. Lovely. Double spinning edge. It's not going to go to his side. Oh, now it goes to his side. Now you go to his side. Ooh, this guy. I mean, seriously, where is he going? Like, seriously. And where are you going? Where are you going? Right, here we go. Alright, lovely. And let's spam the button now. Yes, not that much damage. But, you know. Lovely, lovely. I'm assuming he's saying make haste and retreat to the enemy here. Because like, I don't need to make haste and retreat. No, no, no. That'd be pointless. Healing Elu. I really do love her accent so much. Let's see here. What else can we do that we run in between the parts? Oh, I mistimed that one. That's fine. Healing Elu. Come on then, just waiting for timings and stuff. What would you have Make you haste do? and retreat. Gotcha. Break. 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 Everyone's getting sight. Eagle eye. I'm getting yeah. healing, healing smash. Got Go it. for it. Let's do this. Jaguar flash. This Make one instead. I'm all set. Gotcha. Try some of this. Wild roar. Anchor shot. Ha. Am I bad? All right, we'll wait for bad. it. Yeah. Go for None it. None of that. Flame for that. Nova. Oh, missed time, guys. For sure. Near always it, looks so happy. It died right when I wasn't looking back. at it. You think? Oh. His foo can be a bit bristly sometimes. Well, at least we got some wolf shoes and stuff. I really should actually mm. change. They're speaking again, aren't they? They really are. Also, there's a quest over here. I'm speaking over them now. There's a quest over here. I missed that people pointed out. We'll go and do that. And, and I should actually change the equipment seeing as we're so high level. All right, ah, yes, yes, yes. Now we've done that, now we've done the intro. I wanted to show you what I've got from the expansion pass. If we look here in the system, and we go to the options, and we go over here, we're still on normal at the moment, but we have auto battle. I've tried that out, don't really like it. It's like, just let the gameplay itself. Boring, boring. It's just, I suppose it could be good for leveling up. Just wondering about while I'm probably at work, actually. I could just leave it on at work. No, 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 anyway. No, and we don't want to automate the special button challenges, because it's just... No, I like doing that. And the enemy aggression... On. We're putting that on. Whenever we're doing parts, recording parts and stuff like that, I'm going to have that on. I can still do one of every enemy, like I intend, but I don't have the enemies attacking me. So it's like, while we're doing the parts, that's going to be on. Just makes the, the Let's Play a bit, a bit more simple. Let's put it like that. So we get to attack what we want to attack in the parts. Hope that makes sense. But also, I did get a lot of items from here. So I got a lot of money and some, some har haratha. There's loads of items. But there was also, where was it? Yeah, Pirate's favorite things. There was something else somewhere. Where was it? Like some of the stuff I haven't unlocked yet because I can't yet because I need to be further in the story. So there's some of the stuff we haven't even looked at. There's something somewhere. That's really, really good. I just want to show you what it is. Where is it? I think it was the last one, actually. 
Aha, love source here. This, is there any way to actually see what it does? No. Basically, it just increases my trust by quite a bit. I think I still actually have one. Because I don't need to build up the trust anymore. There we go, love source. Plus 15% party gauge, but there is more to it. It's like it does increase your trust by like 3,000 or something like that. So it's like, as we can actually see, if we go over to Pyra. Yeah, the affinity is all the way up to there. So it's like, yep. We're going to be flying through things for a little while. A little while. It doesn't make combat super easy or anything like that. It's just like, it just makes it a bit more... I don't know what the wording would be. I don't know. But anyway, this quest here, we have to save some guy. That's pretty much all I've learned from this. So it's like, right, let's get this going. So it's like, you see, we're still attacking enemies. It's not like we won't be attacking things or anything like that. But it's like, no, 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 no. It's just we can attack what we want to attack. During the past, and it doesn't make it so like the big really ones, like that guy over there. Sure. He will still attack me if I get too close. Let's put it like that. So it's like, mm, no. we, we still Go have on. issues. Doesn't solve all the problems, just makes it easier to record. You're fine now, Tunini Nini. A job well done, I reckon. Me, me, me. Me was afraid for life for a moment. Thank you for help, friends. Me really glad nothing bad happened to Cargo. Now this I have to hear. Hmm? Friends curious about cargo? It's full of poor foundation and tree sap conditioner and so on. Me was in middle of carrying special Gurma 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 make cosmetics to Torigoff. Still don't know how to pronounce the name places. Properly anyway. Oh, I see. If friends not be passing by, all goods get eaten by monsters. Ah, as thanks here. M me give you some samples on the sly. Actually, do ni 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 ni. I'm just not have anything else to give friends right now. Thanks. No, no, thank you for help. There go, lovely quest done. Knocked about Nopon. Also, I did go off and explore this place as well. So it's like, there is a place all the way up there somewhere. Actually, you know what? We'll teleport to it. Just so you can see where it is. It's, it's a lovely place up there. So let's have a look here. There are the Dawn View Grotto. Yeah, I did a lot of just going around, seeing what we could yeah. find and stuff. So it's like, so, look at the view up here. Shall we? We were just down there. Beautiful. Beautiful. But there was a lovely chest here, which gave me a rare core or something like that. Can't use the cores come yet, on, which is just on. strange. Yeah, we've got all this stuff here. Look. Like, oh, lovely. What have we here? More stuff. Stuff, so much stuff. No idea what it's for yet, but stuff. I've collected so much stuff. Right, so I think it's best we actually go back with the story now. So where do we want? We want Torigoth. We do have some DLC quests, because I think that one there, that question mark in the middle of the map, that's a DLC one as well, because it wasn't there before I got the DLC. So I don't know. One of the major reasons I got the DLC was obviously because I could turn off the encounter thingies. And then I'm also and loving this so much that I do actually I want to carry on and do the big DLC. Because this is a fun game. I really enjoyed the combat. That's what made me look into things. And someone told me about getting the DLC to turn off the combat. Sort of. It's not turning off the combat. It's like I said, it just makes it easier to do how I want to do the videos. Which is, you know, nice. This whole thing with core crystals, touching them to create blades. It's pretty amazing when you think about it. We blades start out formless, anchored to the world only by our core crystal. Only the touch of a potential can imbue us with form and being. And it is by those forms we come to be known. So you see, my boy, in some ways it is only the fated touch of a driver that allows the blades to exist at all. Wow. Why does it happen that way, though? Now, that is something no one knows. It's just how it's always been. Blades come in all shapes and sizes. Some human-shaped, some not. Some people say the shape depends on the kind of person the driver is. The resonance between blade and driver is a mysterious thing. Pyra, she was crying when I met her. 
Was she brought to life by someone once? Just like a normal blade? Good question. What is the Aegis? Really? Halt! Nobody move! Hmm. There's some good thinking from Rex. Oh dear. Looks like Imperial troops. Great. Hey, what's going on? That fugitive in your company is an enemy of the state, a member of Torna. Nia? A member of Torna? It's her, all right. Garmotti Driver, White Beast Form Blade. She looks exactly like the wanted poster. What wanted poster? See for yourself. Wow, it really does. Oi, watch it. Uh, I mean, no way. This doesn't look anything like. Wait, we've got no time for this. Who cares if it looks just like her? Shh. Hmm. Now, as for you, you look like a driver too. Registration number? 539? Knock it off, you fool. All new drivers must register with Endor. No number means you must be an illegal, unregistered driver. No, you don't get it. You're coming with me. We'll see what the console has to say about this. I guess we're gonna fight you then. Rex, Dromak and I are gonna make a move. Get ready to run. We're not leaving without you. This is our problem, not yours. I'm pretty sure he wants to arrest all of us. So this is my problem, too. Sheesh, you're a stubborn one, in you? Gramp says the same thing. OK, we go on three. We'll go left, you go right. OK. Just give the word. OK, let's do this. You, you, you're going to resist? Seriously? One, two, all right, men. We've got them outnumbered. Move in and take them down. Three. Oh, we are destroying these guys. You've seen how how leveled up I am. Okay, time to take. It's you time down. for me to tell you about Make cancel sure you attacks. Got my tail, Rex. Could you shush, guys? Please, thank you. If you execute an art at the precise moment that an auto attack connects, a ring of light will appear around you. Yes, thank you guys for telling me about that. The Ring of Light tells you that you can your cancel attack has been successful. A successful cancel attack would be more effective than an art executed normally. Yes, we know this. Also, the recharge gauge will fill up faster afterwards, so you can really get an advantage from using cancel attacks. Yes, indeed. The effect of the cancel attack will increase with the stage of the auto attack, so try to execute it on the third blow to get the most bang for your buck. Yeah, pro probably won't be doing that because it's just... I lose count of things when I'm recording. Let's put it like this, because because I'm recording, doing the commentary, I'm focused on speaking to you. So if I'm even hitting it to get a blue circle, I'm doing very well. Let's put it like that. So don't expect me to try and follow this three blow rule. Just warning you. I know it exists, it's just don't Get don't ready. expect it. Let's keep this up. Oh, oh, there I got it, so it's like there you go. You got it once, that's retreat. it for the entire let's play there. You don't got it once. Go. Now okay. shush. Thanks for Because there will be someone who'll be like, no, what you're gonna do is this. Like, Good on just, you. No. I won't be able to do it at the same time. I see. I'm too busy speaking to you and forgot to wait for the auto attack. It's already forgotten. Beat them with the power of friendship, really. Really? He's just dead before I got to finish what I was doing. Oh. I really did destroy them. Oh my. So strong! Such strength from a measly two fighters! Their drivers are right! Rex! No! You got it! Wow. A wall made of fire! Such a commotion. Just when I thought I could enjoy a little peace and quiet. Oh, Lady Bridget! Bridget? Is she a blade? Where, where's her driver? My driver is otherwise engaged at present. I am here alone. No driver? <laughs> Lady Bridget is the jewel of Morathine. 
the strongest blade in the Empire. Even alone, she's more than a match for you. Lady Bridget, these miscreants are terrorists working for Torna. Please lend me your power to bring them to justice. Torna. That Emerald Core Crystal. Could it really be true? Well, well. Captain Padre, you are not to kill them. Take these ones in alive. Good luck. Roger. Men, bring the you-know-what up! The you-know-what? Do I have to face her? Because I'll probably win. Maybe. This will be a walk in the park! I it's level know. 10. Ha! You're done! Ha! ha. Anchor shot! Oh, oh, I'm not just making sure. use of it now! Oh, my thoughts You're exactly! I'm just ha. waiting for stuff to come around You're with done. my arts now. Hey! Ow! Don't You're on the edge! You may have got the gist for yourself already, but let me go into a little more detail on blade combos. The indicator the arrow is pointing at right now, where? Oh yeah! Represents a combo request from a blade currently engaged by the character you're controlling. This is displayed when one of your currently engaged blade specials would be able to initiate a blade combo. And also when one of the blade specials would be able to execute a blade combo that's currently in progress. Blade combos can have a massive impact on the battlefield, so try not to miss these opportunities. Okay, so if I did that and then... Let's see what happens now. We'll beat them with the power of rolling smash. Wait to see what happens. Yeah. Seeing if it comes up again, as I was hoping it would come up again, so I was going to try and combine things, but it's not working out how I want. Well, you have to hit the goal. Here we go. Oh no, you don't. Oh, destroyed apparently. What? She she repelled our attack. She's so strong. Mm, and this is without a driver. Stop yammering! Just get it! Jump up! Ah! Ooh, that looked painful. Jump up! This is an Ethernet! <laughs> Let's see you use your precious arts when you can't draw ether from the atmosphere. Even blades have weaknesses. This is one such weakness. Without the flow of ether, blades are quite useless. Nia, draw mark! Get out of here, Rex! Save yourself! I'm not gonna do that. I can't just leave you here. You've got your own mission, just move it! Yeah, but... No bets, go! Rex, we must withdraw for now. It's our only chance. But... You won't escape. They're caught in an Ethernet port? Riggs! Ugh! Damn it! Huh? Ah! Water! No! Ah! Burning sword! Ah! Pyra! Yes! Don't let them escape! Get after them! That's right, Rex. Run and never look back. To pull that off despite all this water. So, the legends of the Aegis were real. What legends? What? Best character. And he's a non pon What's with the music? Thanks. 
You saved us. But I gotta ask, why? No reason. No reason? Sorry, that not true. Truth is, Tora not like those big bully soldiers. Was thinking to test out shiny new boom biter on big bullies. That's when Tora see friends running from them. Boombiter missed and hit water pipe, but results not so bad, hey? Oh. So you shot the pipe. That right. And you're Tora. I'm Rex. And this is Pyra. It's so lovely to meet you. Good to meeting. <laughs> huh? Oh, actually, Tora have other reason for save you. Which is? Don't worry. Explain everything when get to House of Tora. This way. I love this guy. So much. Loading up. Oh, party formation changed it. I assume so. Uh, oh, I'm assuming that at this point I would be able to change anything. If I had other party members, I don't even know why it bothered giving me this option. Oh, alright. Then let's, let's find the house of Tora. I'm assuming it's just down here. The boy and his blade, who seemed to be working with them, got away. But we apprehended the girl from the wanted poster along with her blade. The town is once again safe for... See, Podrick, do you remember what my orders were? Sir? I told you to capture the blade with the Emerald Core Crystal, did I not? Do you recall me ever telling you to capture some little girl with barely a bounty on her head? But, sir, she's a member of Torna. I'll say it slowly for you, just so we're clear. Get the blade with the emerald. Um, Consul Dougal, sir. What? I'm not exactly sure what colour emerald is supposed to be. Oh, give me strength! It's green, you idiot! Emerald is green! Like this! Green! Get it, ya clod? Oh, green! I get it now! So, emeralds are green. You dunderhead! How many blades do you see with green core crystals? It's patently obvious! How do you mix that blade up with some worthless cat monster? Actually, sir, technically I believe that's a tiger rather than a... Science! Ah. Consul! What is it? Haven't you heard of knocking? My apologies, sir. It's just that Lady Morag has... What? Special Inquisitor Morag has just arrived from the Motherland. Already? Her ship has just docked. This... this cannot be happening! It is, apparently. Who? Oh my. Well, that is a ship. That is impressive docking. You gotta think how we lined that up perfectly. And you are? Oh, that'd be her, wouldn't it? You live down here? This just back door. Front entrance over there. Makes sense. Whoa! Is that the cloud sea down there? We're so high up. Nice view, eh? Tora likes to just sit and watch cloud sea sometimes. You have a wonderful home. <laughs> a 
Anyway, um, Rex Rex. Rex Rex? Rex Rex, Tora explain other reason I help you. You see, Tora always wanted to make driver friends. Ah, interested in drivers, are you? But of course. Tora think it's amazing how Driver and Blade join spirits together to make big power. Tora really want to be sidekick of Rex Rex. Um, you know my name is just Rex, right? One Rex, not two. What is point? Well, nothing, I guess. It just sounds a bit different from what I'm used to. Double name just show Tora's respect. Respect for great driver. Rex Rex should be proud. I'm not sure I've earned all that yet. Oh, all right. You can call me Rex Rex if it makes you happy. But instead of all this sidekick stuff, can't we just be friends? Really? Tora will be friend of Rex Rex? Hooray! <laughs> what a funny little guy. Hey, Tora, do you know much about this town? Huh? You wouldn't happen to know where the army takes prisoners, would you? Rex, you're not planning to... We have to save Nier and Dromark. I thought you'd say that. Oh, you talk about Driver and Blade who were with Rex Rex before Tora's daring rescue. Yeah. Meh, meh. Tora would have to ask around town for info like that. Hmm. Before we do anything, time for food! All of today's running around make Tora hungry. Need food to help Rex Rex. I'm a little peckish too. Can't we eat later? I want to find Nia and Dromok as soon as possible. <laughs> Stomach of Rex Rex tell different story. I... I can't help it, can I? Um... If it's all right with everyone... I could cook something. Pyra, I didn't know you could cook. <laughs> well, as long as fire is involved, I can do almost anything. Fry, steam, grill, you name it. Whoa! If you want ice cream, though, you might have to find someone else. Well, you can't have everything. Or can we? Dora, do you have any ingredients I could work with? Just what in the pantry there? Not much really, Tora, sorry. It doesn't seem wise to go out and buy more supplies, so we'll just have to make do with what we have. Let's see what we've got then. Glitter spuds, sumpkins. Oh, and here's an oil oyster. And a single meaty carrot. Ugh. Uh, uh. Carrots. And hot oranges too. These aren't bad ingredients at all. All foods that can be eaten with no cooking. That's how Tori usually eat. That's a bit depressing. We aren't much better ourselves, you know. I guess you're right. So, uh, what do you think, Pyra? Uh, can you make anything with this? Yes, I, I think this should be enough. I'll just use the kitchen, okay? Ooh, alright then. Uh oh. Ugh, meaty carrot. Oh, lovely. All right, let's just get cooking. I just thought of a great menu idea. That's Look it. Forward to that later. I've come up with a new recipe. Is basically what she's saying there. Yeah. So I almost got stuff for other things, but I haven't. All right then. So let's make a glitter bake. Oh man, this is delicious. Oh yum, yummy. So super, very tasty. Simply exquisite. I haven't eaten this well in a hundred and twenty years. Glad you liked it. It seems like I did okay. I was worried I'd have gotten a little rusty over the years. It didn't taste rusty at all. Uh, um, I mean... But Tora is curious. Pyra is fire using blade, yes? When Tora broke that water pipe, Pyra could still make fire. Come to think of it, you're right. That Bridget, the Imperial Blade, she used fire abilities just like Pyra, but the water seemed to douse much of her strength. 
So, what are you saying? This world full of elemental energy called ether, yes? Ether comes in forms like fire, water and wind. While battling, drivers and blades both draw power from ether. But fire not good with water. Other blade woman got splooshy with water, so fire powers all damp. But Pyra and I were able to use our powers with no problem. Indeed. They were unaffected. Why? Um, well, my powers don't come from fire. Meh meh? If power's not fire, why look like flames? That may be a little complicated to explain. Go on then. Tora like complicated things a lot. Uh, well, um, uh, 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 it... Knock it off, Tora. Can't you see you're making her uncomfortable? Eh. Everyone has things they'd rather not talk about. Right? I'm sorry. I'm sure I'll be able to tell you about it soon enough. Don't worry about it. Right now, we need to think about how to rescue Nia. First, we go around town and find all information we can. Hmm. Yes, I dare say that we're all wanted criminals by this point. Pyra sticks out like a sore thumb. Oh, I'm so sorry. Don't worry, friends. Tora has an idea. Hmm. Where is she pulling the power from? Special Inquisitor Morag! To what do we owe this extreme pleasure? Had we but heard of your grace's visit, we could have prepared a suitable... I don't stand on ceremony, Consul. I'd rather you just did your job. Y your grace? Someone of your standing deserves to be treated as such. You are his majesty's representative. Please permit us to lay on a meal befitting your grace. Until then, we would be honored if... You made impressive time. I wasn't expecting you until tomorrow. Oh, 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 Lady Bridget! If we have found the Aegis, then there is no time to waste. But I fear the passage has taken its toll on our engines. The Aegis? H how do you...? Is there a problem, Dougal? N uh, not at all, Your Grace. Good. Now, you've captured a driver from Torna. I am going to speak with her. What? Why do you want... Dougal. I don't remember asking for your opinion. Y yes Your Grace! I'll take you to her right away! Dear, dear. Hello, then. So, you are the Torna Ruffian. I must say you look a little different from your poster. There's a reason for that. A little different. Whoever drew that should be the one in jail. <laughs> yes, I would be angry too. You can drop the friendly act. You won't name your friends? My friends? I'm not so sure I'd call those trigger happy Torna goons friends. I see. I think we have our wires crossed here. I am not talking about Torna. Huh? You're not? No, I was referring to your more recent traveling companions. The driver boy and his blade. Rex and Pyra. Well, that was easy. Damn it! Yeah, she gave away a bit too much there, too quickly. This looks like it could actually work. Good idea, Tora. Right, let's look for friends of Rex Rex. I do like this little cloak thingy she's got. It's lovely. Ooh, the race to find Naya. 
Um, yes. Of course, we'll set that as the active quest. All right, so let's get this collection point while we're here. What have we here? What we got? Wood. Just wood. Loads of wood. I want to look at this carving here. It's quite a lovely carving, isn't it? And uh, what else is around? What's, what's up here? Is it his bedroom? Probably his bedroom. Ah, oh, look, here's the bedroom and everything. It's kind of cool. It's kind of cool. Yeah, whoa, I was wondering what was going on then. Right, so we're going to end this part here. But first, first, I want to get my suspicions out of the way with Pyra here. I'm thinking the reason she's not saying something is maybe she's pulling her power from her driver, which in this case would be Rex. But the only suspicion I have there in like, in like night thinkings is sort of, how does that work? Is it pulling from his life force and he's going to get older or he's going to die at some point? I just don't know. It may be being pulled from somewhere else, but the fact it's not fire is suspicious. Suspicious. But anyway, we'll see you in the next part. Ta-ta for now.